So today I'm here filming my December favorites. Far it's a little late. I've gotten so many video requests from you guys, which is awesome. So every day this week I'm going to be filming two videos and I'll upload them one day at a time. And hopefully I'll get all of your guys' video requests done by Friday. For my monthly favorites, I really don't have that much stuff, but um, I haven't really been buying a whole lot lately after the holidays. Kind of been bringing myself in a little bit, like not freaking out or doing anything crazy. But I'm just wearing my crazy cat lady sweatshirt and got my Ugg boots on. Just a really chill video today. All right, so my first favorite would definitely have to be the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. It is awesome. It's probably my favorite palette out of all three of them and the Naked Basics. It just has like the best colors and I just love it. I've been using it every single day and I've been playing around with it a lot and I just am obsessed with this thing. It's awesome. I love it. Um, if you guys haven't had the chance to try this yet, I definitely recommend it. It's awesome. Every time the winter comes around, I have like the most chapped lips on earth and I use the EOS like lip balms, like the circular things forever and I felt like every single time I put them on and like it would just make my lips so much more chapped at the end of the day. like. It was just awful, like I would wake up and my lips would be so chapped, they'd be like burning and it was just not cute. So I went back to my normal chapstick that I use since forever, but it's just a regular, I think it's just called chapstick, and I use the regular one, the blue one, but it just looks like this, it's the original chapstick. It's definitely my favorite chapstick because it works, it makes my lips like super moisturized and like when it wears off, it doesn't make them more chapped, which is how I feel with a lot of other chapsticks. And I like all the flavors that these come in too. This one I think is vanilla. Definitely vanilla. Actually, it might not even be a flavor. Don't hold me to that. I don't even know. Next is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Raspberry Pi. I talked about this in my last video. Um, the what's in my purse video. I always have this one with me because it's like my favorite lipstick on earth. And what I like about it is it's really, really dark and it's not sheer or anything like that. And it's just the perfect color. I wear it almost every single day and I really, really like it. These Revlon Color Bursts are awesome. I have four or five of them right now. Two of them I really didn't like. They were just too sheer and not what I expected them to be, but um, some of them are really, really nice, and this one is one of them, and I actually have like a decent amount left. Oh my god, no I don't, it's almost gone, but yep, it's what I have on my lips right now, and I just love it. Next is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Juicy Pink, which I mentioned also in my What's in My Purse video. Basically, I wear this lip gloss over any color that is pink or violet or purple or the color I'm on right now. Any anytime I just want like a shine. Okay. So this is what it looks like, the swatch of it. Okay, next lip product that I have is Saint Germain by MAC, which is a amplified color, and it is a super pinky bubblegum Barbie pink that I'm obsessed with. It's like a Nicki Minaj color. But this is it right here. It's just super pink and super Barbie and I love it. Even though it's more of a summery color, I wear it all the time. I just really like it. Buy it. Next is a fragrance. I mentioned this in my um, what I got for Christmas video. Bobby's mom works at Macy's in the fragrance department, so she always gets a lot of good deals on fragrance. So she got me the Michael Kors Sexy Amber for Christmas. I've already talked about the Sporty Citrus before and how much I love it, but this has definitely been my favorite fragrance this month. It just smells really, really good. It's more of like a mature smell. I've never really had a perfume that smells like this. It's definitely like a 
older type of smell, I guess you would say, but I really like it. It um, has more spice to it, and it's just really clean smelling, like very like mature smelling. I'm horrible at talking about fragrances, but this has been my favorite this month, and I really, really, really like it. I think out of the Michael Kors line, this one would probably be my favorite. I love it. Next is a nail polish. I'm obsessed with nail polish, but I had never tried the Butter London nail polishes. So I decided to get some the other day, and I tried it for the first time last night, and the color I did was Cream Tea, which is just a white um, nail polish. And I really, really like it. I like the way it dries and everything like that. It looks like this on the nails. The only thing I don't like about it is it being a white it's very sheer I did like four coats to get the color that I wanted it's very it just takes a long time to get the color that I wanted and I don't know if that's like what it's supposed to be like or what but I also have a white by China glaze that I'm gonna try to I want it to just be very very white like very like whoa cuz I don't really like having light colors on my nails. I like to have darker colors, like blacks and grays and deep purples and things like that. So having a white, I just I, I wish it was like deeper and not so sheer. But that's okay. Um, I got it on sale, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But I really do like the formula of it, like the way it applies and the way it dries. It's not super, super watery. And it's it sticks to the nail. Like it doesn't like... Like when you paint the sides of your nail, it doesn't like go all on your skin too. And just the way it brushes on is very, very nice. I just wish it was darker. And I do have a few other colors that I got that are much darker than the white. So I'll try those and let you know how. But I really do like the Butter Londons. I'm like sitting here bashing this product saying <laughs> all these whole things about it when it's one of my favorites. But um, it's not so much the color I like. It's the the Butter London as a whole that I like. So there. That's that. Bath & Body Works was having a sale on candles the other day online, so I went on there and they had all of the, the Christmassy ones were on sale. So I got a few Christmassy ones that I really like for next year. And then the, also the smaller candles, the smaller jars, they were only 5 bucks compared to 10 or something like that. So I decided to try the flannel one in the smaller can, and I really, really like it. Um, I'm not even going to try to describe the scent, but I just really, really like the smell. And I'm not big on trying new candles. Like, I'll find a candle I like, and I'll buy that one over and over and over again. Like, my mahogany teakwood, I've bought in that candle so many times. I just really, really like the smell. And once I find a candle that I like, I'll just only have that one for, like, years. But, um, I decided to go out of my comfort zone and get the flannel. I really, really, really like it. I'll probably buy a bigger jar when I can, but I went into my Bath and Body Works the other day, and they have like no candles that I would normally buy. So um, looks like I'm going back online. I feel like this video was kind of boring. I hope it wasn't boring. I hope you guys liked it. I feel like it was boring. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below, and leave what you guys have been loving this month. I like trying out new products, makeup products, hair products, things like that. So if you guys have anything that you've been loving. Definitely leave it down below so I can try it too. And as always, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Basically, I wear this lips, lip gloss. <sighs> okay. Lipstick that I've put on it. Try to be in the middle, Catherine. I got Yankee Candles or oh, Yankee Candle. Fuck that place. Oh, why do I fuck that up every time? You know it's hot out here for a pimp.